Hey guys, now let's talk about marking. So sometimes it can be helpful to bookmark a specific place within your file. Vim allows you to set marks within a file with lowercase letters. So let's try this here. So we can have MX and that'll mark X to a specific location. So if I were on here and I hit the keys MA, that would mark that location A. And then I can do the same for here, MB. And then I can go down to X here and then MX and MY. So if we go back here and look at our commands, we have apostrophe and then our location variable. So we can have apostrophe A and now move to the beginning of the line with uh, the mark A. I can do the same thing with apostrophe X and then now go to the X mark line and at the beginning of it. So if we want to move to the specific character, we can use the tick key and that's going to be located just below your escape key on the left side of the keyboard. So I can try tick A, tick B, tick X, and tick Y. So that makes for really fast navigation. Now if I were over here and I moved to the A location, so I used tick A, and then I wanted to move back, then all I have to do is tick tick. To move back to the beginning of the line of the previous position, so back at line A, I would just press apostrophe twice. So now you can quickly navigate among lines. Now Vim also allows you to quickly navigate between lowercase marks. So right now I'm on the A marked line and if I want to move to the next line that's marked, I just press side bracket and then apostrophe. To move back, we just have to press the other side bracket and then the same apostrophe. Now if we want to move to the exact location, we do the same thing except we use the tick mark instead. You can also set global marks with uppercase letters. Try opening your .vimrc file, which sets the configuration of vim, and press mv. This will mark that file to position v, so let's try that. And then press m capital V, and then quit that, and then let's just try opening our file again. Now we can go here, and then if I press apostrophe v, it will automatically open there. So this is actually opening multiple files, which we'll get to soon, but to get back to our original file, we just press colon and then rewind. So now we're back here. And lastly, to list all marks, we use colon and then marks. So this is going to list all the marks we have. And to delete a line containing a mark, we use the del marks. So these are our x commands and we'll get to that real shortly. But just for example, if you want to delete all the lowercase marks, we just have to press colon, del marks, and then exclamation mark.